everybody, it's Emily and Clark on Sailing Vessel Temptress. And today we're going to answer another question. Today's question comes from XAP and Joshua and a lot of other people who have asked us, <laughs> what do you do all day? Don't you get bored? Don't you get lazy? What do you do when you live on a boat? Part of living on a boat is there is uptime and there is downtime. There are emergency and survival type situations occasionally, mm -hmm. um, but you, there's a mix between busy time and I guess what you would call uh, leisure time. We don't work. So there's like eight hours a day that if you work, you're wondering, what do they do all day? Tell you, stop working for a little while and you realize, how do they bother to go shopping and get their hair cut and do all those other things? Mm -hmm. Um, your life will fill in. And if you think about it, if you need to go to work for a third of your life to be occupied, uh, that shows a, uh, a lack of imagination. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, part of, part of, I think, living on a boat and not working in a traditional sense is mm -hmm. that you have time to enjoy everyday activities. We're not throwing a cup of coffee together or a breakfast together and rushing out the door to do something. We take time to say, what do we want for breakfast today? And we make it from scratch and we sit down and we enjoy it together. And uh, doing laundry is, it takes about the same amount of time as doing laundry at home with a machine, but you get to get wet and wring it and get some <laughs> physical activity out of it. So a lot of it is, um, it's kind of like, what do Amish people do all day? <laughs> yeah, well, they work uh, we're a doing lot. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> we do a lot of uh, inviting people over for dinner and games. And it's not just like, let's try to fit it in. You know, you think about it all day if you're doing it right. And you decide what the menu is going to be and what, if there's going to be a wine. I mean, you can really put some thought into it and you can savor life. Mm -hmm. I uh, fell out of retirement after the last stock market crash because, well, the stock market had bargains and I wanted to buy some. So I worked there for a couple of years. And one day I was down in the dining area, you know, the little break room, talking to people about my three years in Central America. And when I was walking back to my office, I realized, here's my memories of the last, of those three years. And here's my memories of the last couple of years working. I started the process to quit the next day. Mm -hmm. It yeah. was terrifying that my life was going to disappear. Yeah. And sometimes being busy isn't as enjoyable as taking your time and being bored sometimes really i don't know that we're ever bored we're always, <laughs> we always have an idea we always we're doing youtube stuff now uh -huh. and um <coughs> we're always fixing the boat yeah well youtube is way more work than you think it is it's like a crazy huge amount of work and i know everybody says that double it it's a lot of work especially if like us We'll be getting better equipment when we get it back to the States. We've had patrons really help us out. We really appreciate that. And we know exactly what we're going to buy. But we're in the Bahamas. You can't really get anything without paying 50% extra. And then it's a hassle to get it in. So we're struggling with bad equipment. And it just makes it tougher. Mm -hmm. But the boat. Um, it's been said that cruising the world is taking your boat to strange and wondrous places and fixing it there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's always a boat project and that's probably a little more so because we have a very old boat mm -hmm. and helping other people fix their boats too True. um kind of along with this boredom and laziness question is a lot of people who are still working will say well you're being selfish or you're not giving back or you're not contributing to society you're just doing your own thing and part of being out here is being a reliable member of this community because yeah. other people need boat fixed and other people there's a difference in attitude when you have all this time when somebody invites you to dinner you don't flake out because there's something better to do or because you had to stay late at work or because your babysitter didn't come on time or something like that everybody has all this time and everybody's mm -hmm. very generous with their time and gives it to each other and just enjoys life and takes time for one another i don't i never worked it out but i bet you it's 20 to 30 percent of our time is supporting community yeah, either helping so. people or ukulele lessons or doing trivia or preparing for trivia. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're very involved in our community and, and that takes up our time in a way that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do a lot of the same things on the boat that we do at home. We're, we're playing music and sometimes we're watching TV shows and movies and mm -hmm. uh, that sort of thing. But there's a lot just about living on a boat that keeps you busy from fixing it to the community to yeah. all that sort so of stuff. So if you're legitimately worried about like turning into a zombie if you retire young, 
you won't. There's yeah. a lot to do, especially if you do it young. If you're comparing your retirement to some grandparent that retired at 65 and they were in bad shape and all they could really do is shovel soup into their mouth in front of the television, that's why they're doing that. But if you retire young, you you got you have the passions. You're going to want to do stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have time to stay active. You have time to do things for yourself. And there is a really big... I know, beetle it's there. like a bird. <laughs> There's, a, There's beetle a beetle on a tree like that here that's like this long. <laughs> it looks like a roach. You have time to look at the nature <laughs> as it presents itself. But, uh, so, hopefully that answered your question yeah. about boredom and laziness. Ooh, oh, there's look, a beetle. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't. It's, it's okay. Oh, yeah, just a it's beetle. It's not going to bite you. <laughs> it looks like one of those rhinoceros beetles. Yeah, I didn't know they could fly that big. Let me grab, hold on, yeah. hold on, Get hold the on. little camera. Get a little camera. Here, see? You have time to capture <laughs> the everyday moments You can always voice away. Don't... So as you can see, we're never bored. Talk to you guys next time. Leave questions in the comments and we'll answer them. <laughs>